Welcome back to Sparta, and today we are going to continue raiding villages, but we are going to try and be a little bit more strategic in where we actually start raiding these villages. So you can see here we have a couple of patrols from the Delian League in the area, and that's not really going to make too much difference to me, in my opinion, because we're going to be able to raid this village without too many difficulties. So let's just try it. I have been very successful in the villages that I have so far raided off screen because I did say that I was going to raid quite a few. As you can see right here, I do have an additional dye works in Delphoi that I did just construct a week ago. And we also have another dye works that is in construction in one of the center towns just north of uh, just north of Tegea, I believe. And that is going to be our least profitable one, actually, because that one is only going to be giving us about 350 uh, dinars, which is pretty awful in comparison to the other die works, but it should be okay. As you can see, the main thing that we're getting here is the mercenary payment. It's just amazing. It really is just amazing. 8,800 for that. And then on top of that, we just have all the die works to try and build up that amazing nest egg. We basically just want to build up as much as possible. Oh, this guy apparently is going to be leaving relatively soon. Yep, he is going to be leaving now. To tell you the truth, I'm downright appalled at your choice of companions, happy about your style of leadership, and downright appalled at the general state of affairs. Well, uh, I guess you be off then. Well, you know, we could do something a little bit different here. We could try to persuade him yeah, no, we just don't have any persuasion, so he is just going to be leaving. And personally, do I mind? I personally don't mind, because he is our engineer. Among other things, he was actually pretty useful. He did have quite a few other skills that I would have liked to have kept in my army. But in the grand scheme of things, I really don't mind. I think that personally, if he is going to be causing so many difficulties with us, then he's just going to leave. And that's absolutely fine. I really don't mind. So this is the grand overview of the map at the moment. So you can see here the Spartans are doing very, very well in this region. And the Delian League, well, they haven't really lost anything else from last time, I don't believe. But they are on a very large campaign. I did see the Delian League run around with about I think five, six vassals or something like that. And they were going over to this region here. So maybe they're attempting to... Oh, yep. They are attempting to besiege now Pactos. Now Pactos. And we are maybe going to go over there and see what's going on. Maybe we'll try and help defend. I don't really know whether we'll be able to get there in time even. So it probably won't even be worth me traveling over there. But... We'll, we'll try anyway, and uh, I'm just going to continue selling things. Uh, unfortunately, I seem to have already sold to this particular marketplace, so I'm going to go all the way down instead, and we're going to go to this town. And this is exactly what I've been doing. This is exactly... Oh! Oh, hello! Okay, so the Spartans have taken Amphissa from the Delian League, which is one of the larger towns in the area. i got to say, I'm very pleased to see that, because I was a bit worried that the other thing being under siege was going to cause a bit of a dramatic shift in the area, but it seems like that is me worrying for nothing. So nothing really to worry about, I guess. And we'll just sell the rest here, and that is that. There we go. All right, that's fantastic. So do I have... Oh, I have 19,000. Wow, I actually have a huge amount. So we probably want to go and meet the Guildmaster and get another Weavery and Die Works built. Now, I am going to just reload into taking a walk around the streets because the first time you go in, you're dramatically further away. You're over there on that road and you're dramatically further away from the Guildmaster. So it makes sense to just reload back into the streets just to get a little bit closer. I know that Native Warband also does this kind of thing where it spawns you really far away from where you actually want to be. And so just reloading into the streets is the best quicker way to, you know, get to where you want to go. All right, so we are going to be building another Weavery and Dye Works. Wow, this is going to give us 625 per week, which is just insanity. That's really nice. And I am now, I think, having Dye Works in 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight cities have dye works in, which is very good. And we're just going to continue doing that. That is literally what we're just going to continue doing so that we can build up a huge amount of cash. So much so that I'm hoping we will be able to... Yeah, there we go. They did take Nalpactos. However, here's the thing. I'm going to continue my thought. I would like to be able to have enough money to basically, if I didn't make any from a mercenary wage, to basically be able to pay our troops' wages for probably like an in-game year or something along those lines, just a huge amount. And I'm talking about maybe a million, maybe 1.5 million, maybe something like that would be the best. I mean, as you can see, weekly cost, we have 6,000 here. And how many weeks in a year? 48, something like that? Oh, I, I, I'm terrible at I'm terrible at maths in general. So yeah, don't even don't even speak to me about that. But anyway, the point is, is that in general, it would be, oh, oh, that's interesting. They've made peace with each other. Okay. <laughs> they just swapped. They just swapped the two towns with each other. And now we are at peace with everyone. So let's have a look and see what the faction relations are all about. Yeah, we're actually at peace with everyone. Huh. I am a little bit disappointed at that. I was really hoping that we could potentially do something more, like raid more villages and things like that, but I suppose I, I suppose I could just wage a one-man war against the Delian League. And you know what? Oh, you know what I could do? We could take this town. We could take this town, and I... Well, first off, I could become a vassal, and then I could take this town from the Delian League, because let's see how many, they have 210, oh, that's kind of harsh, isn't it? I think we could do it. We have 191, my units are not exactly the highest level at all. Ooh, uh, I, I don't really want to do this, you see. I don't really want to do this, because if I, if I become a vassal, then I have to rely completely on the town's, oh, oh you know what? It's going to be really good, isn't it? It's going to be, yeah. Okay, I'm going to find the guy where we can uh, become a vassal. All right, so I found him. Uh, unfortunately, he does only have one relation with us, so I don't think that's going to make any difference. As you can see, he's already accepted our pledge to serve him. And now here's the thing. This might very well backfire on me dramatically, and as a result, it may very well just bankrupt my entire plan, because as I said, I did want to become and d indeed remain a mercenary for a very long time but when this kind of opportunity shows itself I really want to take advantage of it so we're gonna try and become a vassal here and what is he gonna give me did he did he did he not give me anything no he did okay so he gave me tripo discus okay tripo discus where, where where is that oh it's oh, it's there oh that's that's a nice village that is a nice village thank you very much very appreciative of that. Okay, so let's go back. Oh, and now we get an opportunity to choose a banner. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so I should probably try and choose something relatively warlike because, you know, Sparta and everything. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not seeing much that I'm particularly fond of at the moment, but they are some very unique designs. I'm going to go for... Th should I go for this? or? Th oh, no. Should I go for something simple or something intricate? Or maybe I'll just go for the rooster. I will go for the rooster. Yes, sounds good to me. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to incite some violence, at least a little bit. And hopefully this... Oh, yeah, it still has 210. That's great. It still has 210. That is really, really good. Okay, so we are now going to attack these... Wait, wait. We are now going to attack these farmers. And we're going to say, I will take what you've got. But we're not actually going to be attacking them because we don't really want to take what they've got. And we are going to be heading in here. Now, I really wish I had a Stonos now. Do we... Oh, we don't have an engineer. Thankfully, it's just a ladder. It takes 34 hours. Right. Well, ah, I guess I'm going to get attacked, and uh, we're probably going to die like no one's business, but... Uh... This is the risk that I have to take. This is literally the risk. So if any vassals 
decide to appear at this point in time, I will die and we will lose all of our units and that will be that. Thankfully, because of the rents from my village, the discrepancy in the mercenary wage and the vassal, vassal money that I'm getting is not that large, although I would be gaining another 7,000 or something like that if I was still a mercenary, so it would be extremely good. But, of course, if I were to indeed try to take something, it would not go to me because we are just a mercenary. So thankfully, I have been able to achieve... Not victory, but I have been able to construct these ladders. So let us lead our soldiers in an assault, and I can only cross my fingers and everything else that I can cross to potentially win this battle. I am very nervous about this right now because I don't exactly know what kind of units the enemy is going to have. I'm hopeful... What, what, what are these guys doing? Are they, are they not wanting to put their... Uh... Oh, I really wish I could tell them to do shield wall. Really wish I could tell them to do shield wall. I guess I'll just tell them to charge because uh, there's nothing much else that I can tell them to do, to be honest. So let's just see where they run to, and then we'll just follow them and try and assist them as best we can. We should probably try to get a little bit uh, familiar with the layout of this town as well, because, oh, there's an invisible wall there, so I'm not able to get through. I thought there was a gap, so I thought I might be able to just slip on by, but unfortunately that's not the case. So, anyway, let's see if we can do this. There are a bunch of slingers on the enemy side, so they're, of course, going to be very, very good. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we stabbed his shins. We stabbed his shins, and he really did not like that one bit. All right, so let's see if I can maybe... Oh, we're doing a lot of damage. I'm kind of surprised. Okay. Well, that's, that's nice, I guess. And I've just got to be a bit careful here. I'm going to be a little bit less hectic in my attacks. And I'm going to be attacking a little more thoughtfully in my attempts to kill enemies. Because we really don't want to be in a situation where we are cornered in any way. And as a result, that's what I'm trying to do here. We're trying to make sure that Elias stays alive because in the grand scheme... Oh dear, is that a crash? Ooh, that was close. Okay, I think I might very well be crashing in a second, which is going to be kind of sad. But I think it did... Didn't it save? Didn't it autosave before we started this siege? I hope it did. I hope it did, because usually when you get like a, a freeze like that, it's going to crash like a little bit later. Like maybe a minute. Oh, there it is. Okay, yes. Fantastic. Ah, I was really hoping that that would not crash because we started off extremely well in the siege, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Well, upon starting up the game once again and loading into my save, we are here creating our ladders. So if things go well, we should be able to get into the siege again. Now, there's a reason why I started it here instead of actually in the siege once again. Now, the reason for that is that the Etchean city-states have been declared war against by the Spartans. So we are going to be at war against them instead of the Delian League, of course. I do not know where the Etchean city-states are located on the map, so we're going to take a look after the siege, hopefully we will be victorious once again. Hopefully I will not suffer another crash. If I do suffer another crash, then I don't even know what to do because, I, as I said, I thought that changing the render buffer size really did help me out a great deal. But apparently, uh, apparently some of the crashes are just impossible to stop or something because, as I say, I have had my settings on the recommended. I have tweaked them you know, in a variety of different ways, and it apparently has just not made that much difference. Although, I did have a couple of episodes and a lot of off-screen time where I did not have any crashes whatsoever. So I really don't know why that would be changing now. I, I don't know why the stability would be a little bit less good, or I don't, I have no idea. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, we will not have any issues in this particular siege and as I've said again we're going to try a little bit more of a cautious fighting style here I'm going to be a little bit more well shall we say thoughtful about where I attack and who I attack and as a result we're probably going to get 
many more kills because, let's face it, you don't really want to run into the enemy and just do two damage. You want to run in and deal a killing blow almost every single time. So hopefully that is exactly what we're going to be accomplishing here. And hopefully I will not die too easily because I very much want to survive in this entire battle, if at all possible, because we've already eliminated 33, 34 enemies and counting. And I really would like to see the end of the siege. Oh, taking taking some glancing blows here. They're, they're, they're not really going to kill me, but you know how it is. A thousand cuts and everything. They're definitely going to take you out eventually. Okay, phew, we seem to be doing all right so far, but of course we are going to be ending up losing a couple of our people. That is just literally the way things are going to go. It is the uh, the cost, you know, it is the cost of war. And indeed, this is going to be probably our best opportunity. As I've said, this is no doubt one of the best opportunities we're going to have in this series to begin our Mm, shall we say our real estate career suffice it to say because uh, you know otherwise it's just going to be one of those things where I'm like okay well uh, I have you know 250 units and every single garrison has 600 so how am I going to take something you know in that kind of situation it's, it's almost impossible to take something with the enemies having 600 and you only having 250 or even 300 unless you have really high tier units but of course high tier units they take a long time to level up it's going to be difficult to even get those guys to that level without them dying and so i'm deciding to be a little bit more on the risky side here because as i say if we fail this that is it we can't really do much more with the exception of maybe well we could become a mercenary of i mean that's the thing. I'm not in. I'm not even entirely sure what uh, what kind of action we could take as a result of failing to be able to pay your units. Because I have never had that situation before, where I have gone from a mercenary to a vassal, and then from a vassal to a mercenary. I've never had that situation happen. So it may very well be that we will have to experience it at some point, which would be really bad. But who knows? Maybe. Uh, maybe it's gonna happen if indeed we do come to such a such a dire you know dire situation we might very well not have enough money to pay our people and then we'll have to well we could let a bunch of them go i suppose i mean that's you know one of the one of the options i i guess but that's definitely something that i would not like to do because most of these guys are really good and I would like to be able to keep them on the payroll as long as possible so I suppose the one thing that we could do is maybe participate in a couple of tournaments tournaments are very very good for making money and I suppose we could also continue raiding villages of the Ichian uh, city-states because they are now at war against us and I'm not entirely sure if that has changed now in terms of us losing honor by raiding villages because if we are now a vassal maybe we will lose honor instead of just being a mercenary because a mercenary may be exempt from those uh from those penalties i guess you could call them so maybe uh yeah maybe, maybe we'll be able to survive you know even if we end up completely making a mess of things
Well, so far so good. We have lost a grand total of 27 units in this battle so far, and I can only imagine that it is going to stay that way through the entirety of the siege. Of course, we're going to lose more than just 27, I would assume, but the point is, is that the ratio that we have so far lost is very much favoring our side, and I can only assume that is because I have made it a uh, kind of a, a priority to get a whole bunch of these Spartan oriented hoplites because those guys are amazing. They level up into some really, really scary units and their base units are just in general better than most other base units. So I'm going to be attempting to swap most of our forces once we have a garrison. I will swap most of our forces out and then I will just run around with those guys in my army and try and level them up because I think that they are going to be amazing. They are going to be really amazing and you, you can imagine having all of those guys in one army together. Can you imagine that? It's just going to be just so cool to see all of those guys with their red capes running across the battlefield, running in, in the streets of our enemies, towns and castles and things and well, maybe being able to expand our influence a little bit. But I'm very much hoping that Archidamos is even going to be giving this town to us because he may very well think that we do not deserve it, even though we have taken it ourselves. So who knows whether he will decide to give this to us. It is really just in his power whether we well, whether we really end up succeeding or not, because I have been told in the comments, this is the main reason why I decided to take this opportunistic situation on board. And, uh, well, basically someone said, if you have a town or if you have a castle, it increases your army capacity by a significant amount. And I'm very, very interested to see how much it's going to give us. And because this is a town, it's going to give us a great deal. I would assume it's going to give us at least maybe a hundred. Maybe a hundred extra party capacity, which if indeed it does, that's going to be amazing. That's going to be really amazing because then we will have such an easy time getting a large army and being able to take more and more and more and then just continuing onward and becoming a very strong, you know, very strong, well, very strong vassal for Archidamos. And uh, there you go, 210 enemies have been eliminated and we are able to take some loot here that is going to sell for a very decent price. And I am going to request that this be awarded to me. Now bear in mind that because the Spartans are not currently at war against the Delian League, I do not have to worry about the Delian League coming to besiege this. The only thing I have to worry about is the Achean city-states coming to besiege this now. So that is, of course, going to be a bit of a problem. But anyway, I'm going to spend a thousand dinars here to improve the relation because if this is going to be my town eventually, if we are lucky enough to be granted it, then I would very much like to have a positive relation so that I can maybe build an enterprise here. I don't even know whether if you are the lord, whether it makes any difference to your... Uh, to your bid, basically, to your bid of, of, you know, being able to even build something here. So, yeah, that might be the case. But otherwise, we're going to give this guy a nice new shield and some new sandals and some uh, new armor as well because he was wearing absolutely awful stuff and no wonder he was dying extremely quickly. And this has a zero garrison, of course. So we are just going to have to wait here for some time. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to take a look and see where the where the uh, city states are. Is it here? No. Oh yeah. Well, we're at war against the Delian League. Technically. Oh, they're right here. Oh dear. Uh. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. I think we might very well lose this uh, this town. Uh, th this is going to be pretty bad because they're right here. They are right here. It is just on our doorstep. And if the Spartan vassals are not on the ball, or if they decide to do some other action, like they decide to take something, yeah, look, here we go, here we go. Whoa, that guy has 657 units. If he decides to besiege this, we are done. Oh, no, no, they're actually, they're actually deciding to take something else. Oh, this is great. 
This is fantastic. Okay, they are attempting to take something else. I'm not... They're, they're attempting to take this. This is the most... This is the weirdest thing that they decided to do. Okay, I, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. Please, by all means, take that random castle. I'm perfectly happy with them doing that so that uh, Archidamos can get a decent amount of time to decide whether I am worthy of being given the ownership over this town, which I would very much appreciate him doing. Hint, hint. Yes, he's not going to listen to me. Anyway, we're going to go in and speak to the tavern once again, the tavern guy. And uh, I'm going to buy everyone a thing, even though maybe it's not even going to make any difference. It might not. And in which case, I don't really care. I just want to make sure that it is ready when and if we are able to gain control over this town. Amazingly enough, it appears as though we are now gaining a small amount of money every single week. And I think that is because most of, well, most of the higher tier units that I had in my army have died. And as a result, my weekly wage has gone down to 3,700 over, I think it was 5,000 something. So that's pretty nice. But I probably would prefer the high tier units, to be honest. Anyway, I have been waiting here for a couple of extra days and I have not heard anything from Archidamos. So I don't know whether he is going to, yes, he is. He is going to give this to us. This is fantastic. I will accept this honor. Thank you very much. And now I can manage this town, which I can I can basically just build a messenger post or a prisoner tower either way. We can hire recruiters as well, which is going to be extremely nice. So we're going to just do that, even though it's really not going... This is not going to work. Let's just say that. It is not going to work because recruiters are going to go out and they're going to get defeated almost immediately, I would assume. So... Yeah, I, I don't know how it's going to go, but I kind of need some garrison of some kind. And I'm thinking that maybe, maybe I can get a, uh, maybe I can get a patrol. I don't think I have a, uh, you know, a person just yet, like a, a minister or anything. Do I? Is this guy, is this guy my minister? Uh, oh, he's the rightful sovereign. Oh, okay. So he's, he's the claimant. Oh, okay. Well, I will not be helping you at the moment. I'm so sorry. I am currently a vassal, so I will not be able to do that right now. Hmm. Okay. Well, we were able to take a town, amazingly enough. We are now a vassal of the Spartans, and I will now directly be able to crush the Achaean city-states, or at least I will try to crush them as much as possible, because let's face it, if we can do that, then Sparta is going to have a really, really nice territory here. And then maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to go down to Zakynthos and maybe to Sami as well and try and capture both of those too, which would be some pretty nice outlying uh, little outposts for us. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.